Hey guys, what's up? Milne here with another Xcode help tutorial. This tutorial was requested by Internal Fighter and his channel link should appear here. Um, so he requested that I do a tutorial on NSS strings and uh, what they do and how you can use them. Um, so I've set up a project for you guys using a web view and an alert view. Um, and I'm just going to be going over that to show you how strings are used within those bits of code. Um, so without further ado, I'll just show the Xcode file. Now there are two ways you can implement strings. As you can see here, I've got my web view outlet and I have my string outlet. Now I don't need an IB outlet, I don't need this pink thing on the front of here because I'm not going to be using it in Interface Builder. That's what the IB stands for. So IB outlet means it's going to appear in Interface Builder for us to connect to. Now we don't want to connect an NSS string in Interface Builder, so I don't put IB outlet in front of it. Uh, so as you can see, I've literally just typed in NSS string called WebView string. Now what this string is going to hold is a text for our URL. Now that's basically what strings do, or as far as I know what they do. Um, and they hold strings for certain stuff. So in this case, this string, we're going to tell it to hold our URL for our web view. Um, so I can show you that here in my code over here. So I've just set up a web view. If you haven't seen that tutorial, go check it out on my channel so you can learn how to do that. But as you can see above here, above it, I've called our web view string from our .h file. I've allocated it some memory and I've also told it what it will hold. So in it with format tells it to hold a, a text format. And to declare a text format, you go at, always at sign, then you have two quotation marks, and whatever's inside these quotation marks is what the thing's going to hold. Um, so as you can see, it's holding our, uh, our URL here. Now, down here in the web view, we can see that URL with string, instead of typing out our URL again, We've just called the WebView string from here and put it in here, and uh, that's how we display our URL. Now there are a number of advantages of doing this because instead of having to type YouTube, the instead of having to type this all the time, we can just put our string in every single time, and we can use it wherever we want within our code. We can use it anywhere, and it just saves a lot of time. Um, so yeah, that's the first way of implement implementing strings. Sorry, uh, that I know of. Um, and I've said before the guys that I'm no advanced coder, I just thought I'd share with you guys what I know about coding and let you guys help you guys out with it. Um, so yep, there you go, there's my first one. And because here I allocated memory to it, I always need to deallock it or get rid of the memory, otherwise we'll build up the memory in the iPad and it will run out of memory. So if I go down here to the bottom where it says void deallock, I'm going to deallock the uh, the webview string by just typing in webview string release. So that's all you need to do to uh, release memory from it. Now I said there's a second way of uh, implementing strings, and that's doing it within the .m file. We don't need to go into the .h file at all. So as you can see here, above my alert view, I've called out string, and I've uh, called it this uh, alert view title. And I've done exactly this as we've done up here. We've allocated memory to it and I've told it what it's going to hold. This one's going to hold our title for our alert view. And I've got a second string here holding our message for our alert view. So um, basically just the same as up here. But the the disadvantage of using it in the view did load method without putting it in the .h is that we can only use it in the view did load method. We can't use alert view title in the view should auto rotate feature because it's not in there it's in here so that's the only disadvantage of using it in in .m file without putting it in the .h file so uh, i hope that wasn't too confusing for you then um, but yeah as you can see then we create our url alert view here and uh, i will be doing a tutorial on these shortly so you won't get confused by what i'm put on here and uh, yeah i've allocated memory to the alert view and then when it asks me for the title, instead of having to type out hello world, I just put my string in. And for the message, I just put my string in. 
I could also do strings for my buttons as well here, but that's not really necessary. And uh, down here, I have to release the strings. Now these two strings up here can't be released down here because they're not in the .h file, they're in this file here, this, this method, this view did load method. So I have to release them in this method whilst it's used, otherwise we will get a memory warning. So I release them there and uh, that's basically it for this tutorial guys. Um, just kind of a quick tutorial teaching you how to use strings, what they can be used for and how they save time and stuff. Um, so hope that helps you guys and uh, hope it wasn't too confusing for you. Any questions on it, feel free to post them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer them if I can. Um, so yeah, please comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my other tutorials.